So I'll tell you from the very beginning. So we started receiving bodies from yesterday afternoon. And the last body we received was at 10 p.m. Okay. So after we received the bodies, our main concern was to preserve the bodies till we start our investigation. So the bodies were placed in refrigerators. Okay? And now we have enough space. And the, and the whole room is refrigerated. Okay? So the bodies were put there. And then from yesterday, we started doing postmortem. Yesterday, we could do about three or four postmortem. And so it was very late. So we stopped working at around 1.30 AM. Okay? Yeah. And then we started work from today. So till now, we have finished about 18, uh, 11 bodies. In the meantime, we are collecting their personal belongings. Yeah? We are recording their personal belongings, and we are collecting antimortem data. This antimortem data means it's the information that the family gives us about the dead person, okay? like about his height, weight, color of the eyes, ears, any personal jewelry he is wearing. Is there any tattoo, any marks on the body? Right? Any deformities, either acquired or congenital, any birthmarks, tattoos, anything that they can give us. So we, we take this. And we ask specifically for if there's been any dental procedures done, any dental treatment done. Okay? Okay. And if they provide us with a dental chart, we have a dental team working with us, so we can compare it with the postmortem. So after we get this antimortem data, we, we are doing postmortem. So after we finish the postmortem, we'll compare our postmortem finding with the antimortem data, and we'll try to establish an identity. Right? If this does not work, then we'll go for fingerprints. If possible, we're collecting fingerprints. So far, we have done 11 bodies, and out of which only four bodies from which we could get fingerprints. Right? Then the dental examination is going on. They are taking about 10, 10 dental examinations have been done. So after the postmortem are done, then we'll sit down and so if need arises, we may ask the family members to provide us with some more information. So this process may go for about maybe three, four more days. After the postmortem, I said we'll compare the antimortem and postmortem forms, and then if we can establish identity, okay, we'll inform the police and they will release the bodies. So how many bodies uh, you have received so far? Forty-nine. Uh, 26 from Bangladesh, of Bangladeshis? We and, don't know. Oh, yeah. No, we do not know who the nationalities are because we have not examined them. So, okay? uh, and most of the bodies are burned. So visual identification is very difficult. So how many bodies are with tag? With? Tag, police tag. No, like the police had given a number on the body bags. Okay? So after we receive the bodies, we have given them our number. Okay? It's oh. a unique number that is internationally expected. And the procedure that we are following here Okay, this investigation, it's an international process. Okay, most of them are burnt, okay, and some are burnt hands. If the hands are burnt, we cannot do take finger. Pilot also, we do not know because the information has not come. Okay, now, here it was the problem with coordination. Okay, problem with coordination. The airlines people, they did not give us the details. Okay. Later on, when we were doing the postmortem, we found that he had his wallet, ID card, and with his stripes. Right? We came to know this, but otherwise, we are lacking on antimortem data. Yeah. So, the, there are families from Bangladesh with whom we had interaction. We have given them the antimortem form, so they'll fill it and give it to us. I, I do not know. They may be, you know, uh, busy with people who are leaving. Yeah? Yes. Yes. And the bodies were here. The airlines people were not here. Okay? We did not have the flight manifesto, and we had to ask the police to get it. That was the duty when they knew. Uh, disaster has happened. Okay. No, because the, it is the airline people who are the prime, I mean, people who are responsible. Okay. Okay. Other people, the police, airport authority, the local hospitals, doctors, I mean, everybody is equally responsible, but somebody should take the lead. The bodies could not be identified. What will be the proceedings with so those? We'll go bodies? for DNA analysis.